Mm, you can see a little bit of a difference there, but I did not pay $67 for a palette with three shades that look the same on my eye now. Come on. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am finally doing a review on the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette. I have been searching high and low for reviews on this and I have not found a lot for women of color. I said that in my Sephora VIB recommendations video. So I went to the store, I picked it up and I created three looks for you guys to give you my final thoughts and let you know if I think it's worth it or not. So before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do reviews, tutorials, lots of hauls, hair, makeup, nails, all of it beauty related and a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. If you wanna see how I got this look and my thoughts on this eyeshadow palette, if I think you should pick it up and swatches on darker skin tones, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we are gonna jump straight into all the details of this palette. Now, my main motivation for picking this one up is because I haven't seen many reviews of this palette on darker skin tones. So I was wondering, is it because the palette doesn't show up well? Is it just really not that popular? Like the look of it is something people don't feel interested in? Like what is the deal? So today I'm gonna do swatches. I'm gonna tell you the details, the price, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna do three looks. I'm gonna do one on each eye and then finish with a complete look and give you my final thoughts. I bought my palette at Sephora during the VIB sale haul. It is $67. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And initially looking at the swatches, I was intrigued by some of the Foiled shades, of course, the mattes look extremely light. And then when I checked on YouTube for other reviews, I only saw two other videos with women of darker complexions reviewing this palette and the swatches weren't that great. So I kind of just feel like, where is our representation? How does this look for us? I am currently looking at the retrograde, Mercury retrograde palette just because I swatched it in store and I think the colors are gorgeous. The Naughty Nude palette is actually really nice, but I have a lot of palettes like that already, so I didn't pick that one up. Um, so yeah, this one, $67. I feel like it's pretty expensive, but honestly, this packaging kind of makes me feel like it's really luxe, super pretty with the rose gold and the gold letters. And then, of course, the marble look. And then this is what the palette looks like on the inside. So as you can see, it is pretty light. This shade is a matte that's pretty dark. This is a great transition shade here for me. This one probably could be used as well. But the question is, what can we do with the rest of them? So I feel like my lights are probably washing this out. Let me turn my lights down. Okay, hopefully that's a little better, but yeah. I mean, real honestly, this is a light pink. This is a pink. This is a light um, cool tone shade. And then I just thought this shade, this shade, this shade, these are all gorgeous. I have never used one of these shades like this, this little jelly shade that she has right here. So I have no idea how that is gonna work, but yeah, I just wanna make sure you guys can see the actual shades of the palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with swatches. I feel like that also kind of helps give me an idea of what direction I wanna go with the palette, and then we will go from there. So first shade is Quartz, and this is a beautiful rose gold shade. So this is it right here. The next shade is Aura, which is a dark brown matte. This shade here. These do feel pretty soft. Then the next shade is Gratitude, which is another brown matte. Just this shade here. It almost looks a little rosy. Pretty hard to see that one, but I think it's a great transition shade. 
Then Cosmic Love is absolutely gorgeous. It looks great in the pan, but the thing is with these marbled shades like that, when they look marbled in the pan, they end up just looking one shade on you. But I think that is an absolutely gorgeous shade. It is a little flaky, but still really, really pretty. And I'm gonna show you guys this real quick, but just from digging in the pan, I hope you can see there how it almost is like coming up out of the pan, like very flaky, almost like it's kind of loose. I hope you guys can see that. The next shade is Empowered, which is a super pretty kind of navy bluish almost, navy blue purple. And then the next shade at the top is Joy, which is a pink shimmer. Swatch that one again. I know swatches don't always tell the whole story, so take these with a grain of salt, but I want you guys to see what you're potentially getting. So that is the first row. We'll move on to the second. All right, so next, the second row starts off with the shade Precious. Trying to make sure my hands are dry. This is a cool toned matte. That's the shade there. I actually like the shade a lot. The next is Energized, which is a shimmer shade. Gorgeous. Look at that pigmentation and that shine. Now here's the interesting one. This is the shade Love Stone. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but it's a gel. It's almost like a balm, and then it has these little pigments in it, which I don't know if those are supposed to like pop and disperse some color. I don't know what that is. So pretty excited to swatch this one actually. I have never felt any of these, not even in the store. So it does feel hard, but balmy. I'm pressing pretty hard. Okay, so it basically, hopefully you can see there on my finger, it kind of looks like it almost has a little bit of glitter in it. And I'm gonna put this one on the back of my hand for you to see. So that is what it looks like there. It looks like a balm and it looks like it just has glitter in it. So I guess you could put that as like a topper I don't know if I would ever use that, honestly, but I guess it's a cool concept. So next we're gonna move, in, move into Cherished, which is a super light pink. This will definitely be a lid shade for a matte look. So we'll go here with this one. Super light, almost looks white, but it is very, very pink. Then we have Blissful which is another one of those soft flaky shades. Almost looks kind of like a duochrome. Shades like that always just make me nervous because I wear contacts and my eyes just don't work well with shades that are not packed well on the lid. The next shade is Happiness, which is another pink. That one's darker, but still pretty light. Probably blend that in the crease a little bit or like blend out your edges. So that is everything on the second row with Love Stone, the balmy shade in the middle here. So now we move into the last row. This is the darkest matte shade in the palette. This is the shade called Mantra. It is definitely a dark brown, but oh, it's a brownish purple, actually. Definitely good enough to, call, to create some depth. Then we have Serenity, which is a little more of a cool term, toned purple than the pink happiness, like a lilac. Then we have Abundance, which I thought this was a gorgeous shade. Then Moon Magic is absolutely beautiful. It is a bit of a topper shade, but the shine on that is gorgeous. 
I'm probably going to try to finish with that one because I feel like that's going to be hell to get off doing more than one look. Then we're going to go with Radiate, which is another cool toned kind of shell color. This one is also extremely light. So again, probably another lid shade. And then I'm going to go back with my pointer cleaned off and go self love, which is the last shade. And it's one of the marbleized shades. It's a very pretty color. I'm not sure what the marble part is for though. Like when you rub them together, it all looks the same. So I don't know. I feel like shades like that are kind of gimmicky, but at the end of the day, the shade is pretty. All right, so I went ahead and I put some powder under my eyes and I put a little bit of my CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer on. So I'm gonna start off with, which way do we want to go? I'm gonna do one eye all matte, I know that for sure. So I'm gonna start with Gratitude and I'm just gonna put that in the crease. I definitely think there are a lot of wearable everyday shades in this palette. I was just concerned about like, what about to deepen it up or to add a little oomph, you know, where are we gonna go with that? I'm gonna take a little bit of Radiate and I'm gonna go around the edges with that. These shades are pretty powdery. So that just helps to soften the edges, but I do feel like I don't know that that really did much of anything. I mean, it softened, but I don't feel like you can really see much. I'm just gonna go back in with gratitude to deepen that up. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm going to pack Cherished on the lid just to see how much we can get that to show. This is a really light pink, but it's coming off almost like a white. That's pretty, pretty pigmented. Didn't expect it to come off that much. I'm gonna go ahead, which one do I wanna use? I'm gonna go in with, let's see what Serenity looks like. We said we're gonna stay all matte. I don't think that looks that much different on the eye. I don't know if you guys can even see the difference between Serenity and Cherished, putting them next to each other a tiny bit. But on my eye, these are almost translating exactly the same. And I was using opposite sides of the brush for that. So yeah, the only difference is this one pulls a lot lighter packing it on versus this one. Yeah, I guess you can see it. I'm gonna take Precious on a smaller brush and see if that actually gets any darker. It does not, so, I mean, it definitely looks cool toned, but not the color that I was hoping for. I wanted this to deepen it up some. I mean, yeah, I guess it makes it a little gray, but it's deepening it up a little bit. Mm, that's actually not that bad. It's coming off a little more purple than I expected. I'm just gonna go back around the edge with gratitude to bring some of that pink back. I mean, for me, I just don't, I don't know that I feel like this is enough color payoff using all mattes like this. Let's see what Mantra looks like. This is the darkest shade. Oh yeah, see that's dark. I didn't really wanna go that dark, but at the same time, I feel like I need something to help kinda 
make this not look so washed out. I can tell you right now, I feel like the stars of the show for this palette are definitely the shimmer shades. So if you're looking at this and you're looking at the mattes and thinking like you may not get a lot of use out of them, you're probably right if you're my shade or darker, especially darker, unless you just love putting super light mattes on your lid because other than that, there's not gonna be much else you can do with this. So I'm gonna just kind of smoke out the bottom lash line using most of the same shades. And then we're gonna go ahead and move to the other eye because I don't know, I'm just kind of ho-hum about how this looks right now. Like it's not bad, but just doing a matte eye, like I feel like this reminds me of my She's and Parties by Melt Cosmetics palette. So it's okay, but it's just not like the best thing ever. I'm gonna do some of just the regular shimmers first because I feel like those other shimmers are gonna be pretty hard to get off. So I'm gonna finish with those. I'm gonna start off with Aura, which is the darker matte brown. I wanna do kind of like a gold, somewhat neutral, if you wanna tone down a look using this palette, but still have some shine to it. Go around the edge of it. All right, gotta love when you run out of space on your SD card. So anyway, all I did was just deepen up Aura a little bit here in the crease. That's what I was working on when I realized I was out of space. So I'm just gonna stick with that. It looks kind of similar to this, but we're gonna go a different direction on the lid. So on the lid, I wanna go in with Quartz, which is the bronzish kind of the first shade. It's like a rose gold. So we're just going to put that on the lid. And my brush is dry color is very very pretty I love rose gold shades like this on my eye I used to be just like all gold everything but shades like this always complement the skin well it just gives a little more I don't know I feel like a little more softness than just a standard gold but this color applies very well I want to see how it applies wet I mean, it's already pretty much saturated my lid, but you never know. And I don't have any fallout so far, so let's see if it amps this up any. Oh yeah, definitely does. It makes it apply a lot smoother That almost looks like a foil on my lid. That is so pretty. And it kind of looks like that on the brush too. So I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna go in with Abundance just because I wanna see how that looks. My brush is still wet. This one is the more purple shade. Just see if we can pack it on top. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen though. See it a little bit. Let me try my finger. There we go. Just needed a little help since that first shade was so dark. Now you can see that again, super foiled. I want to use my brush to kind of work it in because I do feel like it's just sitting on top of my lid and not really worked in. I'm gonna turn my brush over and just try to blend those two together. I like that shade though. That would be a gorgeous shade on the lid by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in again with Mantra since that's the deepest shade that we have. And just pack that here on the outer lid.
I like how dark this color is applying. It's definitely not a black, but you are definitely getting some pigment. I'm gonna go back around the edge with Aura just to soften this up some. I think at the end of the day, the question you have to ask yourself, like, is this palette really anything special from what you have already? If you just love Huda's shadows, you love the formulation, you probably won't be disappointed because this is my first palette from her newer stuff. And I mean, it's nice. I'm wondering if I probably would get, I just wanna, I feel like, these are making my eyelids look creepy and I know I don't have creepy eyelids. Um, I feel like I would probably get more use out of her palettes that are of a darker shade range because, I mean, I could get some use out of this. I don't mind wearing color. I don't mind wearing light colors, but for people who are looking for something a little more wearable, this might not be it, but We're about to see if those special shades are actually gonna be the thing that makes the difference. So I'm gonna sweep off my powder, I'm gonna finish up my eyes and let you guys see the final look. All right, don't kill me. <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't wanna put anything on my bottom lash line because I'm gonna take this off and do another look. I did go ahead and put mascara on my lashes just so you can see. I didn't put eyeliner or anything. I know I'm not doing this full justice, but if anybody, if any of you have done more than one look in one video, you know how hard this is. I wanted to go back real quick and I want to take Self Love, which is that marble, light marble shade, the last one that I swatched, and see if I could put that in the inner corner. Oh, that is pretty. It comes off a little more pinkish, which I don't think I expected. And I did not wet my brush for that. So I'm gonna put that on both sides. So that is what that looks like. That shade is really pretty. Like I said, I think this palette, if you get it, you're getting it more for the shimmer shades, which there's seven mattes. Wait, did I count that right? Eight out of the 15 shades are mattes. And then you have that gummy shade. Let's play with that right now before I take this off because I'm definitely not doing it at the end. Let's see how that looks over this. I guess you have to use your finger. I say gummy, it's not gummy, it's like a balm. It's really just like a gel, but I'm wondering if it's gonna lift the mattes. So let's just see. I should have waited for my mascara to dry. Can you guys see that that adds a little sparkle to that? Can you guys see a difference? I see a little tiny bit of a difference, but these nails ain't helping me get into this inner corner. I don't think you can use this with a brush. I'm gonna try. Yeah, some picks up. It definitely feels a little sticky. And it's just like it almost adds a sheen. Maybe I need to watch her video and see like what is the point, but these are the first two looks. Not bad. I water in a little bit. I'm gonna take these off and then I'm gonna do a final look. I'm probably gonna go into Cosmic Love because that and Moon Magic are really what caught my eye. And then we'll see. So now we are going full out. We need to play in these special shades. So I'm gonna start off again with Gratitude. I feel like I keep leaning towards that shade, but I feel like it's like the perfect transition shade for me and I can go any direction in the palette with it. Nice wash of color with a little bit of depth, a little bit of something. I'm gonna go in with Aura and just deepen up the crease a little more. 
I feel like this is pretty standard for me in terms of how I set up most of my looks. But I know what works for my eye shape, so that is why. Now the question is, what is the best way to apply these shades? Because on my finger, beautiful. We're going to try to use both. We're going to try to use Cosmic Love and Moon Magic. And I'm going to start off with Moon Magic. It is not picking up on the brush very well, so I'm going to wet it. So we're going to start with that on the inner corner and work our way out. I already feel like I should have put this on top of another shade, not by itself. But we already started, so we're gonna roll with it. This is a topper shade. And I feel like it's one of those chunky shades that you have to work into your eye. You can't just like place it on your eye because it's gonna look chunky and just, I prefer smoother looking shades, but you can definitely see the color payoff that it's giving. And I think it's gorgeous. I love, this kind of reminds me of one of Pat McGrath's shades, maybe in the new Utopian Dreams palette definitely need to wet your brush because I don't think these are going to pick up and I think they're just going to make a big mess all over your face if you don't. I didn't think this through. These nails, I don't see how ladies do their makeup with long nails like this. Yeah, see that's just making a mess on my eye. Like it doesn't feel like, I don't know if you guys can see it. I feel like it looks... Not patchy, but it's just like, there's gaps. I can see my eye through it. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I like my shades to look more, there it goes, more smooth. You know, these kind of remind me of the shades in the Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette, which a lot of people didn't like. I liked it, but it was the same concept, like very chunky and you had to really work the shadow in. I think that's pretty. So now I'm gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna go in with Moon Magic. Again, I'm gonna try, yeah, it's the same thing. Like this whole shade is like, well, I'm gonna wet it cause I just feel like this is gonna fall all over my face. But trying to pick this up, see it almost looks identical. Trying to pick this up on the brush, like the shadow is literally moving in the pan. This looks almost identical. Do you guys see a difference? Cause I don't really see that much of a difference. It's a little bit of a shade difference, but. I was not expecting that. I expected that to look a lot darker. These look identical. Let me swatch these again. They don't look identical on my finger. This is Moon Magic. And this is Cosmic Love. Yeah, see it looks darker, but putting it on my eye, I don't really feel like it looks that much darker. I guess a little bit. Mm, I'm kinda, mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Especially for those to be like the most popping shades in the palette and they look that similar. I'm gonna use Empowered, which is that dark purple kind of navy shade and just put that on the outer part. It's picking up on the brush, but it don't look like it's really showing much. Why are all these colors looking almost the same? Like that is so weird. Cause they look very different in the pan. And you can see a little bit of a difference there, but I did not pay $67 for a palette with three shades that look the same on my eye now. Come on. I'm gonna see if I wet my brush. Mm, 
I'm trying to just pat it to get the most color payoff and then kind of press it and swipe at the same time to smooth it out. Can you guys see that this literally looks like I have, maybe I'm not seeing it right and it'll look different on camera, but I don't see that much of a difference. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna try to go in with Blissful and see if I can get just something different. Cause right now I ain't feeling too excited about this. These shades are all super glittery, super chunky. And I don't know if it's because they're more like topper shades that I need to put them on top of something else. Okay, that one looks different, thankfully. But it's almost like, you know, did I need a base to put these on? And then you would have been able to see the true color difference because I'm not seeing it. I'm going to go ahead and darken up my outer V the way I normally do. <laughs> I feel like y'all can already tell how I feel about this. I don't know. I'm going to do it justice though. I'm going to finish this look. I'm gonna put on lashes, do my eyeliner and all that, and then finish it, but I don't know, guys. I'm just really not, I got feel like I got glitter everywhere, and I'm just not like blown away. So let me finish, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, this is it for the final look. I decided to do a bold lip to kind of just try to tie everything together. I love purple, so I love how this turned out, but I know for a fact that I've done something similar with other palettes I have in my collection, and I still can't help but think that this shade that I have on my lid, three shades that look pretty much the same, all remind me of what I have with my Pat McGrath palette. So I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't think I'm gonna keep this palette. I don't think it's worth it for me, for what I have in my collection. If you don't have anything like this already, and you like how this turned out, you like the swatches, you think you'll get some wear out of it, then by all means pick it up. But for me personally and what I already have and what I felt working with the shades, I just don't feel like there's enough variety in how it looks on my eyes compared to what I'm seeing in the palette. I don't know. I don't know if there was something I should have done different, something how I should have applied it. I mean, you guys saw the swatches, you saw me apply it on my eyes. Maybe I should have used a darker base. Maybe the colors would have popped differently then, but I don't normally do that. So I'm trying to use this the same way I use any other palette. And I've never had palettes look so different in the pan, show up so similar on my eyes. So that's just my thoughts. As far as the colors on our skin tones, on a deeper skin tone, they're definitely wearable. I personally like more pigmented shades that like, pop a little more. I do think the mattes did give a good punch in the matte look that I did. So again, if this isn't something that you already have, you don't have anything close to this, it's a nice palette. Am I going to keep it? No, I don't think it's worth it. So I hope this helps you make a decision. Kind of disappointed, but it is what it is. That's the thing about playing in makeup. You never know just from looking at it, you get one idea and then you actually try it and it's something else. So don't always draw your conclusions based on what you see from pictures, watch videos, see how people use it, go in the store, play with it yourself, draw your own conclusions. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with other people who may have been interested in seeing a review on darker skin tones, and I'm glad I could help. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.